Now then YouTube, I'm the Tough Man and welcome back to some more FM 2016 guys. We are back with some uh, some Kima and Hassocks. Ultimate English Challenge, of course. We're back in the Mid-Sussex Football League Division 8. We're right the way down there in level 21 of English football currently. And we're not doing too bad. As expected, really, from this kind of level of football and this type of team we've got, we're doing pretty goddamn well. So you're probably seeing quite a few new names in the squad right here. Um, I did tell you to put a name in for Neil Richmond. Um, I do block recording, so I won't get that until the end of my block recording. So, you know, keep that in mind, guys. But one thing um, occurred to me. Um, when I was looking through my transfers, guys, I have been absolutely decimated once again. And I don't know why I keep getting decimated. Absolutely just getting stripped of all my players. We've now lost George Lawton the centre-back, we've lost Sam Hurrell, of course, the left midfielder, we've got lost Jamie Towers, the right midfielder, Taylor Rolls, the other centre-back, uh, the centre-back that we've got, Jack Bailey, the uh, the backup uh, striker that we've got, the only players that we really have left are Neil Richmond Jack, and Jack Ward, all the rest, well, Nick, uh, actually, no, we, we've still got Melvin Minter, we've still got Nathan DeMonte, we've still got Nick Treadwell, but as for that, guys, everybody else... If players that I've had to buy in or, or so on and so forth. So we've got some injuries to Frankie Everett, the other centre-back that we've got at the moment. Uh, we've got an injury to Lee Grace, the left-back. And we've also got an injury to Sonny French. Very disappointed at the moment, but what can you do? What can you do? We really got decimated. Has it made any difference to my results? Well, the simple answer is no. <laughs> it has made no difference to my results whatsoever. I last played... Who did I play last? Wivelsfield Green Pilgrim, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was... Oh, no, it was the second time I played them. 2-0. And then the next game, guys, we against Cookfield Rangers in the Parsons Challenge Cup second round, we won a massive 8-0. Neil Richmondo with a hat-trick. 11-15-22. Another really quick ha hat-trick for him in 11 minutes. Jack Ward on the 26th. David Bryant... Frankie Everett and Dominic Crawford getting two goals after coming on for Neil Richmondo after he got his hat-trick. Um, and he got a brace himself, so he didn't do too bad. 15 shots, 11 on target, 45%. Did very well. We then went into the Mid-Sussex Football League Division 8 and won 3-0 at Plumpton Athletic. What a name that is. Neil Richmondo with his second hat-trick in two games. 16 shots, 6 on target, 53% possession, which was great. Melvin Safans Minter got booked. For I don't know what. That was a 3-0 victory. The Malins Challenge Cup second round was a 4-0 victory. Again! <laughs> Neil Richmondo with three hat-tricks in three consecutive games. When does that ever happen? I have no idea. Simon White scoring the goal. But other than that, Neil Richmondo getting another hat-trick. 4-0. Marsfield Village 3. We played, well, two, sorry. We played them. We beat them 3-2. And look. <laughs> Neil Richmondo with his fourth hat-trick in four fucking games. Holy ball sacks. This guy, 48, 52, and 69. I, I don't know when this last happened. I really, I, I, I don't think it did. I don't think I've ever had a hat-trick in two consecutive games. Never mind four consecutive games. It's absolutely crazy. It really is, guys. And then the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup, you can see it was a two-all draw, so there was no hat-trick in this one for uh, for him. But uh, we played Fletching. It was uh, Darren Jackson and Eddie Stone who scored. But Neil Richmond did get a goal, guys. He did get a goal. He got substituted in the 90th moment, uh, 90th minute, should I say. Um, and then Saul Gibson's own goal then got cancelled out by a 103-minute goal by Eddie Stone. It was annoying, guys. Look at this. 23 shots, 12 on target. They had three on target, scored two of them. And at that stage, though, when they scored the second one, they had only two on target. They literally scored with every shot that they got on target. It was very, very annoying. But we managed to beat them in the penalty shootout, so that's great. 
2 all. We're through to the next round of the Mid-Sussex Junior Cup. Then back into the league again. Burgess Hill Albion 2. And we drew against them one all. Disappointing um, disappointing game. Uh, Neil Richmond scoring in the fourth minute. And I thought, oh, we're gay. Hey, up, guys. We might be on for a big win again. But no, it wasn't to be. And Elijah Butterworth equalising in the 60th to make it one all. And then the Parsons Challenge Cup quarter final. We seem to do well in the Parsons Challenge Cup, I've got to say. Another massive victory against, this time against East Grinstead Meads. Now, East Grinstead Meads, we played against them last time. 6 0. Neil Rich Mondo with yet another hat trick. James Mills, David Bryant, and Ryan Byrne. You're going to have to get used to some of these new names that are popping out. I've certainly had to get used to some of these names. So we have a look at the league. We are now four points ahead of East Grinstead Town, three, and they are on 16 points. We're doing very, very well. We haven't lost at all, but look at this goals. Neil Richmond, 13. Let's just take a look at him. 13 games. He's played 13 games, okay? One as a substitute. So in total, he's played 14 games. He scored 23 goals in the equivalent of 13 and a half games. That... It's something to write home about. It really, really is. It's finishing. It's only seven. I don't understand how on earth he's managed to be so fucking good. But at this level, his heading is also 10 as well. Um, but at this level, he's absolutely fantastic, guys. If you can pick up Neil Richmondo, definitely pick him up for this level. Let me know as well, guys, if you are playing this along with me, with Keeman and Hasek. Let me know your stories. Uh, there was a guy early on in the series who was letting me know how he was going but I haven't heard anything since and I don't know whether or not he's playing it at the moment but I am in Football League Division 8 and doing absolutely fantastically. So I'm going to go ahead and um, and and submit the team because we're now playing AFC Ringma 2 in the Cup. It is a Cup game. It's been a while since I've done a Cup game. So let's go ahead. This is uh, not my team. Where is it? Here's my team. Look. That is my team, guys. Again, like I said, there's not much point in showing you my team at the moment because you won't know who anybody is. But I'm sticking with the 4-4-1-1. It's doing very well for me at the moment. And we're going to go ahead and start the match. Oh, and Mills has latched onto a mistake here. Mills, oh, he's been doing very well so far as Mills since, uh, you know, I brought him up from the youth. Smeaton whips it in. Oh, it's going to not do anything. It's Flanagan's ball forward to Morrison. Out towards the wing now with Lockett latching onto the end of it. Whips it across. Oh, and it's off the bar twice, actually. But Melvin Seyfans Minter gets it into those Seyfans. Well, I have to say, I could have picked a better match for you guys. It's half time. The score is currently nil-nil with only a couple of highlights to show you. Really nothing to write home about. Um, uh, on half time, guys, I just want to talk really quickly about something that I've done. I've asked the board to buy... Adastra Park and I've gone ahead uh, they've said they said no they said that they didn't need to do it they think that the rent is fair enough um, but I said look we've got more chance of our finances you know more basically they said at the end of the season we will buy Adastra Park so that is another thing now guys we can concentrate it's our own stadium we can concentrate on building that up getting all the financial revenue from that because we're going to need it when we get into semi-professional and professional that is when we're going to need our financial revenue and this is safeguarding that for the future second half let's go I've had to make a couple of substitutions. Nothing's happening up front at the moment, guys. Jack Ward is on 59 condition. So I've brought him off for Ellis Ray, new, another new guy coming up. Josh Gardner is also coming on for James Mills on that left-hand side. Treadwell with a free kick. 67th minute. Just brought on those substitutes. Smeaton down the wing towards Josh Gardner. He's literally just come onto the pitch. And uh, he's whipped it into the box. It's Neil Richmond. It, well, actually, that is a foul. That is a very strange foul. I didn't see anything in that because it was going way too fast and I'm about 70 million miles away, so I can't see anything. But um, Kima and Hasek have a chance to go 1-0 up with Bryant and he slides it into the bottom corner. And then... <laughs> I love that. Uh, I love him. He's uh, like proper celebrating in the middle of the box there and there's nobody in the stands watching him at all. Here's all our fans on the sides there. Look, absolutely fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic. But current score is 1-0. Well, it looks like one of the most boring games in history that I've decided to show you guys. Out of all of the games that I've had previously, this has to be the most boring one. And of course, it would be the one that I record. DeMonte to burn, but I think it's just, you know, there we go. There we go. Look, full time AFC ring with 2-0. 
and Kima and Hasek's won. It is a victory nonetheless. Neil Richmondo got the assist and David Bryant with the goal. Of course, Neil Richmondo was the one who got the penalty, to, so he gets credited with the assist for that. And David Bryant slaps it away for 1-0. Now let's have a quick look at that. Look at that. 10 shots, 3 on target. 51% of the possession, but 11 shots, 5 on target was a little bit better. And we're through to the next round of the cup. Now let's have a quick gander. Uh, Mid-Sussex Junior Cup third round, so I believe we're now through to the quarter-finals of the uh, Junior Cup, which is going to be fantastic. Ooh, I've got an achievement as well, guys. What is that? Team scored in 20 consecutive cup, uh, competition matches. That is absolutely fantastic once again. We are just breaking records, making chiefs left, right and centre, guys. But Neil Richmond, I mean, Jesus, fuck me, Christ. 23 goals in 14 games. A hat-trick in four consecutive games. Has anybody else had that happen to them? Because it's never in a million years happened to me. Neil Richmond, I take my hat off to you if I was wearing one. But anyway, that is going to be it for the end of this episode, guys. If you've enjoyed it, please go ahead and leave a like, as always. And until next time, I've been the Tough Man. Thank you very much for watching. As always, stay safe.